Aries, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Go to my Facebook page, the Onyx Moon Tarot. Follow and like for a daily pick a card and card of the day. Aries, there is no gender in tarot. This is a collective reading. So there's lots of Aries out there. If I don't resonate with you, that's okay. I could be talking to Cross Watcher, so it might not resonate with you. If I do resonate with you, give me a thumbs up and let me know that I'm resonating with you. This is something that could have happened to you already, could be happening to you now, could happen to you in the future. I don't know if I said that already. I was a little distracted. I apologize. I have an albino squirrel in my yard and I don't get to see him very often. So I have some angel cards. I think everybody can use a little bit of angel magic. And if you don't like angel cards, then just don't pay any attention to this message. Okay. Resistance. Secret admirer, suppressing and timid. So you're supposed to resist that. Classes, learning, and teaching are part of your higher calling. Hmm. So you're supposed to take a class, I guess. Or teach one. So what do you know that you could teach? Interesting. I guess do something that you, that you love. What's this? Take this. In my way. What can you teach that you love, Aries? So you have a missed opportunity. There's a missed opportunity here. Working very, very, very hard at something. Working to get your money up. May hear some bad news. May hear some gossip about yourself. From hmm, Gemini energy. Jesus. Aries, what is going on? What are, you, what are you doing? What are you up to? I think we need to start over. We need to start over. So you had an opportunity, or somebody, I'm not going to say, oh my God. So, this is just a story. Do not base any decisions on on pretty pictures on cardstock, okay? It's just a story. This may not be your energy. There are thousands of Aries in the world. This probably will not resonate with you. Could be cross watcher. It's just a story. Four cups. Three cups in front of somebody. They are bored with what's in front of them. They asked for another one. The divine said, hey, mermaid, come and give this person another cup. That, that person is so entitled, they didn't want that either. So they refused it. Then they realized too late. That was an opportunity that they should have taken. But it was too late. They're working very hard on their finances. Because some bad news is coming in. In regards to a love situation, there was a choice that needed to be made. The wrong choice was made. It's Gemini energy. We've got earth energy on here. Water energy, fire energy. Gemini energy, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. 
And then we have you. So the wrong choice in love was made. And I guess because of that opportunity that was missed, that turned you into uh, a not a very nice person. Or you could be dealing with another Aries. A missed opportunity, focusing on your coins, getting some bad news in love. You became, you became bitter. We're going to put it that way. You became controlling and bitter and just worked on your money. You missed the opportunity. You missed the opportunity with somebody. So you constant because of either you missed the opportunity with somebody because you were too focused on money, or you missed the opportunity and then you focused on your money. And you had to walk away. I think you missed the opportunity because you were focused on money. They made another choice. That made you bitter. So you walked away and it's, it's completely over. It made you feel that you didn't have enough. They could have made you feel that you could, didn't have enough. That's why you concentrated on your money. Because this person made you feel that you didn't have enough. You weren't good enough. Maybe you came from a different socioeconomic class than them. So that's why you felt that you had to just build up your bank account. They could have made you feel that way, or you might have felt you might have projected and felt that way on your own. You're going to get communication. It could come in very quickly. It could be nice communication it could be angry communication eight of wands wands is fiery so fiery can be passionate or it can be angry passion doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to be sexting it can be you know somebody's got something to say High Priestess reversed. All right. Virgo energy. Very sexy. But intuition is there. Doesn't... doesn't use it, very hot-headed, says what they think instead of holding their own counsel. Looks like your walls are coming down. You may not be guarded. You might be open to talking to, talking to this person so that's interesting. You cried at the river of sorrow. You did cry. You cried over the past. This did hurt you. This could be, this could be, this happened maybe a while ago and you are, um, you got over it. You realized you still had two cups and you had to get on living. So you did. I mean, it ended. You went and you moved on. But this insecurity of not feeling good enough 
If they made you feel that way, then they're an asshole. If you projected that onto yourself, well, then that's a you problem. You are good enough. Yes, you're not you're not heartbroken anymore. So if they do call you and like I said could be could be an argument hot-headed high priestess if it's you because this is fire don't lose your temper. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be that you're losing your temper and like what the hell do you want? It doesn't have to be like that. Looks like you're over it. You were hurt, but it looks like you're over it. But you're not. You're still up in your head. Ob obsessive thoughts. Or maybe this phone call is going to put you back up in your head. They're not your two of cups. That's what you're saying. They're not your two of cups. It's putting you back up in your head. When you get this, when you get this message or whatever it is you're going to get, it's going to make you angry. You're going to be hot-headed. It's going to put you back up in your head. You're going to go right through the obsessive thoughts again. You know that they're not your two of cups because if they were, were your two of cups, they wouldn't have treated you that way. And you want to lay this burden down. You think that they're a liar. This is your reading. Resistance. You're resisting it. I go to my YouTube page, The Onyx Moon Tarot, to follow and like for a daily pick a card and card of the day. Secret admirer? I don't think so. Suppressing? Yes. Timid? Mm, no. I think that you are going to resist this because you are just not that into them. Don't allow them to make you feel that you are less. Don't pro don't project that. Don't let them project that or don't think that they are doing that to you because you're not. That's a you problem. And if they are trying to do that, then they shouldn't be in your life anyway. All right, Aries, this is your reading. <laughs>